Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Victoria Island, Lagos, Nigeria, VI, right? Yes. Okay, so it's already about 112, 550 watt panels on this roof. Let me see if I go around without causing any damage to the roof. So you can see them. And this is for our newest customer, FSR. You can see them. So we put 112 panels on this roof. They come in, if you see any exposed wires, we've not terminated, we've not finished the connection. So that's where the connection will terminate. So that's where each string will come from. So we're running a total of six strings. So 112 divided by six, I'm sure you could do the math. Uh, my inverter could go to a thousand volts. So this works out quite fine for us. We have our 60 kilowatt in inverters and 61 kilowatt in, P in solar panels. Our load is about 30 to 40 kilowatts. So I'll go back inside and show you the inverters, tell a little bit more about them, and tell you what the logic behind what we're looking to accomplish is. So these are the Jinko 550 Tiger Pros. This installation, as I took you upstairs, I showed you 112 by 550 watt Jinko Tiger Pro, Tiger Pro panels. So that comes at about 61 kilowatts in panels. We have two inverters, 30 kilowatts and 30 kilowatts for a combined 60 kilowatts. We're running the output through an EPS parallel box, which is what you have there. And that's a 60 kilowatt EPS parallel box. We have our T58 parallel box. This allows us to run multiple batteries. Um, so in this case, we're running six batteries per inverter. And then these are our batteries, our high voltage T58, uh, 5.8 kilowatt hour each and about 110 volts each. So let me take you through real quick. Uh, T58, um, 30 kilowatts with a surge ability of 60 kilowatts. So for 10 seconds, it can surge to 60 kilowatts. This can hold 60 kilowatts in PV. It has three MPPTs and each MPPT has two strings. So let me see if I can show it to you. So you can see one. You can see the MPPTs, right? So, one, oh, sorry, one, two, lock, 12, sorry, let me do that again. So you see them? So it, this is 12, and each, each string has, so here is one, here is two, here is three. The reason you're seeing for is your positive and negative. And then this also has two batteries. We can do two batteries. So battery one, which is what we're using, and battery two. This allows you to do two battery banks. So we could do a total of 96 kilowatt hours in batteries just on this system. And these are our communication ports. It's IP65, so which is overkill for this place because this is a server room and this will always be cool. So think about this. So I can do things on this one. We have three independent MPPT, so that's very, very powerful. And I could do up to 60 kilowatts. And what this allows me to do is I can charge and at the same time, power my loads. Our batteries, um, well, pretty self-explanatory. We're going to run about um, 360, 370 volts. That limits what we can charge and that limits what we can charge and discharge. So our PV is definitely overkill relative to our battery voltages. And then we have our AC breaker. What we've done differently this time is only pole. Sorry, unlike before, we used three pole breakers, right? Now we're using individual, individual poles that allows us to break each circuit. So if you know, that inverter is a three-phase inverter. It outputs L1, L2, L3, and then neutral. We can break them individually. Same thing here. Um, we're going to put a box somewhere here that allows us to bring in our PV, right? And we have six, how many strings in total? Six strings in total. So each inverter will get three strings. Okay, and upstairs, outside, where is the disconnect? Where is that box? Okay, we're going to have a, so we're going to have a disconnect outside. So we're able to disconnect from outside in addition to having fuses and breakers on the inside. So the box that's going to come up, will have the fuses and breakers. These are disconnects. If something comes up, um, it's a four pole, right? Yes, sir. Four pole. So we can disconnect two strings, two strings, two strings, two strings. You see, we have, we have one extra. The reason we have one extra is in the event um, since we only have six strings, one inverter, one string is only go is going to have its own 
isolator, different from all the others. So if anything comes up, we're able to turn off um, particular strings or particular inverters from the outside before we come inside. So this is going to be outside on the roof where I just came from. So we're good, right? Our EPS box. So let me explain this to you a little bit. You've seen this before in an installation we did before. Um, it has a contactor for grid and a contactor for EPS. EPS is our output from our inverter. So when the grid is present, it will snap and then it will switch to the grid. And when the grid goes away, it snaps and it switches to our inverter. So all this happens in, inside here. The bus bars are, of course, labeled the L1, L2, L3, and your neutral. And there's no earth, right? Okay, and there's earth, a common earth, as you can see, right there. So hopefully I've explained this all to you. This can handle 60 kilowatts, um, which is our maximum here, but I don't, I don't think we'll ever see 60 kilowatts. Our load we've seen, the most we saw was about 40, 45 kilowatts. So that's what we intend to do here. I've explained to you the T58, and this is what allows us to... What is this one here? AC panel for what? Okay, so this is where, this where the grid is coming in from. The grid goes from here to... It goes from here to our inverter, correct? Okay. So your AC in is coming from there. Okay, what is that? And the AC out is going from here to our EPS box. The AC in is AC in is also coming from here to that contactor. So it's coming from here to there. And what, what does it allow us to do? So this allows us to bypass the inverters if there's a problem. And then this allows us to charge our batteries. So we have two outputs. We have one input coming from one input coming from the grid, right? Yes. And then we have two outputs. One goes to the EPS box, yeah. so, and then the button. second goes into the inverters, goes to the individual inverters. So it goes to the two inverters. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. If you have any questions, if you have any things you don't think I clarified, please post them in the comment section. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos, Nigeria.